In today's video, we'll be talking about the formation of secondary amine. So in this case, when we do the reaction, we get something like this. This is called an N-amine. Right, an N-amine, and this happens for secondary amines. Let's do an example here. If we have this structure, this ring, and we have a ketone, right? So this works for ketones and aldehydes. Okay, we're in acidic conditions, and we add this secondary amine, right? Secondary means you have two carbons attached to a nitrogen. And we have lost water here, but our main ingredient is that. So, you see it as an oxygen, remove that. Where the double bond's at, we put the nitrogen with a single bond. Nitrogen with a single bond. And two carbons attached to it. The reason why we put the double bond over there is so because we can make an enemy. For it. So where our circle is an enamine, that's why I put the double bond uh, on the bottom and not on the nitrogen. Let's do another example here. We have this structure, another, another ring. We have a methyl on the left and we have a ketone. Right? So again, we're in acidic conditions. And let's add this uh, secondary amine, which is a cyclopentene in this case. We have the secondary amine. Okay. Redraw the structure how it is. Pull the double bonds at for the nitrogen uh, oxygen. Remove and put a single bond, and add the structure. So single bond nitrogen and the structure lone pair. Now the methyl group. Now I have to add the double bond to make the enemy right. So we add it to the left because um, there is more carbon than the right side. So we add it to the more substituted side, which is the left, like this. Let's do another example, but this time this is a different reagent. We have this ketone, right? This is a reversal uh, reaction as well. When we're sitting conditions, let's add this, right? E2 is like um, ethyl, right? Two ethyls. And we still, isn't it still nitrate? It's still secondary amine, okay? So let's redraw the structure. Where that uh, oxygen is at, put a single bond, nitrogen, connected with two ethyls, like that, okay? And add a double bond anywhere in this case because they're both equally substituted. Let's do the mechanism for this. We'll start out with this ketone. It's a reversal reaction, remember that. We're in acidic conditions and we have um, this secondary amine, right? So the first things first, amine attack the carbon always and it gives electrons to the oxygen. We have this structure with a negative charge on the oxygen and a positive charge on the nitrogen. As it comes in, oxygen grabs the hydrogen, kicks off the A. Now in this case, the alcohol is formed. Nitrogen still has a positive charge. So the acid, the, the A minus comes in, grabs the hydrogen, and gives it off to nitrogen. We have OH and we have nitrogen, nitrogen with two carbons. Now the acid comes again, so it's, we're just repeating the process, right? Oxygen grabs the hydrogen, kicks off the A. Now the oxygen in this case has a positive charge. It is water. It is a good leaving group. So this nitrogen has a lone pair. It forms a double bond and kicks off the water. We have this double bond connecting nitrogen with a positive charge. Should have two uh, carbon groups, positive charge. Now, we have no hydrogen to pull off of this acid. So this is where the beta hydrogen comes in. Okay, also we, we lost water. Okay, but the most important thing is the beta hydrogen uh, comes in. The acid comes in, grabs the hydrogen, and then forms a double bond. So it can make an enemy, right? An enemy, that's what we want. Now in this case, it doesn't matter where the beta hydrogen comes in because both groups are more uh, are equally substituted in this case. Also, one more thing I actually forgot to write this step is that um, the electrons uh, from the double bond on nitrogen um, goes back to nitrogen like this, like that. So nitrogen has a lone pair.
Now, let's, let's do another example, but this time we see that the secondary am amine is on the structure. We showed it um, not on the structure, but this time it's on the structure. So we get a different kind of product this time, right? Same reactants, right? Same, same reagents, acidic conditions, and water, right? This time, this secondary amine, it has a lone pair, it attacks the carbon, so it forms this um, ring, right? This cyclohex, uh, you can say a six-membered ring, cyclo, uh, six-membered ring, lone pair. Okay, we know it's a uh, secondary amine. So we have something like this that we have forms. Where our circle is where it is at. And the double bond goes like this. I'll show you the mechanism why this happens. Now let's do the mechanism of what we just uh, predict the products of this nitrogen on um, the structure, right? So this is a reversible reaction, also lone pair. And to make this refer, uh, we use water actually. Now this nitrogen has a lone pair. It goes and attacks the carbon, gives off electrons to oxygen. So we always know that the amine always attacks first if we have it in a, in any amine. Secondary or primary always attacks first. Now this amine has a positive charge. And we have oxygen with a negative charge. In this case, the acid comes in, the HA. Grabs the hydrogen, kicks off the A. So now we have an alcohol right there. Nitrogen still has a positive charge. Now the acid comes in, grabs the hydrogen, gives off the electrons to nitrogen. You have a reaction that looks like this. Lone pairs. OH. Now the acid comes again. So we're just repeating the mechanism again. Grabs the hydrogen, kicks off the A. We have something formed like this, nitrogen still has a lone pair. Now we have formed water in this case, right, with a positive charge. So that's a very good leaving group, well, good leaving group. This nitrogen forms a double bond between there, okay, and kicks off the water. Now some of you might be wondering why I formed the double bond right there. Um, two reasons. First of all, that water is a good lever group. That's why we did that. But also, the left side is more substituted, and then that's where we want the double bond. So now, in this case, we have nitrogen on a positive charge. The beta hydrogen, we put from the left side because we said it's more substituted. So we use that. The A comes in. Now, this grabs the hydrogen. This hydrogen electrons forms a double bond, and that double bond goes to nitrogen. To give it again a lone pair. We have a final product that will look like this, and the double bond goes right there. And this is our answer. Actually, let's make the double bond inside so it looks better. There you go. This is our answer. So we saw it going forward. Now let's go backwards because it's a reversible reaction. So let's start with the product, right? Let's see what are the reactants that makes this, right? So it's an acidic condition, acidic conditions, and we use water. We have to use water for going backwards, reversible, right? So we have that right there. That should be a double bond connected to a hydrogen, right? Now let's try the other half, which is the nitrogen, right? Connected to two carbons. So something like this. So we've got the hydrogen in there. So it's a secondary amine, and that nitrogen should have a uh, lone pair in it. I forgot to draw it, but it should have a lone pair. Let's do the mechanism for this reversible reaction going backwards, right? We start with the n-amine, right? We're in acidic conditions, and we use water because we're going reversible. We have to use water. In this case, the acid comes in. 
Now this part, the double bond actually goes to hydrogen, kicks off the A, and the nitrogen lone pair forms a double bond right there, like that. So we have something like this with the nitrogen having a positive charge. Now the water comes in, attacks the carbon, gives it off the electrons to nitrogen. We have a formation that looks like this. Water is in here, positive charge. So now the acid comes in, the A minus, grabs the hydrogen, gives off the electrons to oxygen. Yeah, form the alcohol in this case. Now the acid comes again. So it's basically the same size as going forward. Identically, so now we want to kick off something which is the nitrogen has a positive charge. By the way, that nitrogen should have two carbons, right? Two R groups, like that. There you go. Oxygen has a positive charge. The A minus comes in, protonate that oxygen, gives off the electrons to oxygen. We get a final product of a ketone plus the secondary amine. And so this is our answer for this question.